Welcome to The Mental Traveler, I'm Garorena and today I'm very excited because this video is gonna be quite different from anything I've ever done before. Rather than reviewing or talking about a book or a movie or a TV series, I decided to do a video and talk about something that's been on my mind and that is fan fiction. What is it? How long has it been around? What are my thoughts on it? Do I recommend it? What's my history with it? I'm not sure if the booktube community supports fanfiction or not, but I'm still gonna go ahead and do this. I know that some modern day authors are not very fond of fanfiction, but I wanna believe that if I ever become a writer, I wouldn't mind it if other people wrote stories with my characters. For example, George R. R. Martin, the author of the A Song of Ice and Fire books, he doesn't approve of fanfiction. He thinks it's a copyright infringement and a bad exercise for aspiring writers. Before I begin talking about fanfiction, I just want to say that I did some research for this, but I'm not saying that anything I'll mention it's 100% accurate because I'm not an expert on the subject. I'm just here to talk about it and share my thoughts and opinions. And before I tell you what fanfiction is, I just want to mention two things. This is going to be a video without spoilers, and I also want to dedicate this to one of my best friends, Fernanda, because her birthday was yesterday. So, permisimos felicidades de nuevo, espero que te la hayas pasado increíble. Gracias por siempre estar apoyándome sobre mis dilemas, sobre qué puedo hablar y qué no en estos videos. Eres la mejor. So, what is fanfiction? My definition would be that if you're a fan of something, whether it's a character, a pairing, a book, a play, a movie, a miniseries, a poem, a song, a TV show, and you decide that you're not satisfied with everything that's been presented to you about it, and you want to either learn more about it, or do something about it, change it, or to improve it, or just to get it out of your system, then that's fan fiction. For example, if you don't like the ending of Romeo and Juliet, then you just go ahead and write a new ending, or write Romeo and Juliet in outer space or as a western but fan fiction is not only writing about this alternative universe it can be fan art it can be as writing a song making a fan film writing a play or just reading what other people come up with there's practically fan fiction for everything out there from stuff like Disney movies to the animated show Sailor Moon to Star Wars and Harry Potter Lord of the Rings more independent movies like Somewhere in Time or The Last Unicorn or scent of a woman. The exact date isn't known. It's not like somebody declared this is the beginning of fan fiction. But I guess that since the first story in the world was created, there's been fan fiction, even if it's not the exact form it's taken up today. Because every culture has its own legends and stories, and as they pass on through generations, it's not gonna be the same story. It has to have some alterations. So that could be fan fiction. But the fan fiction that I'm referring to specifically apparently came out around the 60s with the whole Star Trek movement and it intensified with Harry Potter but I read that there was even fan fiction for example for Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes before it was published there was this unauthorized version of it there must be more, but all I can think of at the moment are writing fanfiction as a story, a chapter, a one take, a poem, a play, a limerick, anything, or making a fan film, creating fan art. I've been reading fanfiction for as long as I can remember, and I was trying to figure it out how it all started, how I discovered fanfiction, and I think I can date it back to the time when I was a child. Growing up, I always liked these sort of weird couples in movies, for example, Jasmine and Jafar from Aladdin, or Rothbard and Odette from The Swan Princess, or Frollo and Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and I usually kept it to myself because it was weird, it went against popular opinion and the ending of the story, but then and one day I decided to look one of those couples up in the internet and I found out to my pleasant surprise that I wasn't the only fan shipping these characters together. There were hundreds of fan fictions for them and that's how I became invested in reading fan fiction and if I like a movie or a TV show or a book I tend to sometimes go look for stories in the fan fiction world but only with two fandoms have I read one fan fiction that has captured my imagination and my heart so much that I will never read any more fanfiction about them again because the story was just so perfect and so in canon that I just can't think about anything to top it off aside from the original source. And these fandoms that I'm talking about are Anakin and Padme from Star Wars, Severus Snape and Lily Evans from Harry Potter, and Sansa Stark and Sander Clegane from The Song of Ice and Fire World 
or Game of Thrones. About the first one, I just love Anakin and Padme. They're my favorite thing about Star Wars. Vader included. I also ship Vader and Padme. And I love searching for fan art about them. Some time ago, I was reading as much fan fiction as I could about them until I discovered the one. And after that one, I just can't read anything else. It's called Chattered Glass and it was written by Pat Lay. It's a sort of alternative take of the ending of Revenge of the Sith. What if Padme hadn't, hadn't followed Anakin to Mustafar and thus Obi-Wan couldn't have fought Anakin. So Anakin slash Vader goes back to the capital to Coruscant and he ends up saving Padme from dying in childbirth with the help of the dark side. This really cool and toxic relationship between them develops and I just love reading about troubled marriages and this one was really angsty fully written and I highly recommend it. The other fandom that I was mentioning was those who ship Severus Snape and Lily Evans. Snape is my favorite character in the Harry Potter world and his love for Lily is what draws me the most to that story and there was a time when I used to read a lot of fanfiction with them but then I discovered the fanfiction and it's amazing. It's called Lily and the Half-Blood Prince by Green Eyes 117 and it details the life of Snape and Lily from the moment they met through their years at Hogwarts, it's uncompleted, so it doesn't go into too much detail about what happens during their seventh and final year at the school and afterwards, though we already know. But it's so amazing that I even prefer it to the Harry Potter books. And every time that I'm gonna read them, as a law, I have to read Lily and the Half Blood Prince before. And I also want to mention that there's this really cool fan made film called Snape and the Marauders, and it was really well done and it's online for free, so you can also check it out. The link will be in the description box below. But I guess that my favorite fandom of all times would be the Sans Sand fandom. Those people who ship together Sansa Stark and Sander Clegane from A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones. Why is it my favorite? Because it's the only one where I've been really active. I've been in it for about five years. There was a time when I swear I read every single fanfiction that came out about these two and I just love them together. I even wrote a fanfiction for them and even made a fan video about it. I've also written a one shot for Becoming Jane, the movie, with Anne Hathaway and James McAvoy. So in the end, I guess that I love fanfiction with a sort of biased opinion because I am involved in it. But I just find it really fulfilling when you are left with this void after reading the original material and then you find this amazing story or fan art and can sort of put a proper closure on the story. For example, I always wondered what would have happened had Padme and Vader lived together and I've discovered the fanfic that I mentioned and now I can let go of that intriguing idea. And I think it's really cool to see what other options the characters that you love and read about could have had if just circumstances had been different for them. I'm going to put links in the description box below for the fanfictions that I mentioned about about Anakin and Padme and Snape and Lily as well as the official page for the fan-made video of Snape and the Marauders. I hope you guys enjoyed my video where I discuss fanfiction. If you have anything to say about it, please don't hesitate to do so in the comment section below. I shall be eagerly awaiting your opinions. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you next time. I'm Garo, the Mental Traveler. Goodbye!